Malachi 4, uh, 2, we talked about about how Jesus is called the Son of Righteousness. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 2, Jesus is the King of Righteousness. He's also known as the King of Peace or the King of uh, Salem, Jerusalem. Then in Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, we read, if you suffer for righteousness, when you do right, how many of you know sometimes you do wrong, then you get criticism, then you say, I'm suffering. If you are suffering for lying, it's good. But if you are suffering for telling the truth, be happy. If you wrong, no, if you haven't done wrong, why you get sad? Be happy. Say be happy. Yeah. Matthew chapter 5 verse 6, we read that blessed are they that hunger and thirst to be right before God. For they shall be filled with what? Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. They shall be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Why? Because it's the Holy Spirit that gives you the power to live right, do right, and be right. Amen. Okay, then we were here. Where? In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom, which is his righteousness, not and his righteousness. His righteousness. If you seek God's righteousness, anything you need in life will be added to you. What is righteousness? To be right before God. To be right in your thinking. You know, it's amazing that how these actings have made actors out of believers. See, the more you see people's acting, you know they are not true. Now people are smart. When they see acting, they know Superman is not true. Though they like seeing Superman fly, but they know Superman is not true. I mean, if you understand. Most young people know Iron Man exists, but Iron Man is not a real thing. It's just a movie now. Even children know it's a lie. I mean, but they see it because they know that it's an acting. Right? But let's not become actors. Because we are not paid for acting. We get in life what we are true about. Aplok samja? See, acting say, Ashish Nemile. It's being true who you are. I mean, I don't like uh, Karela. Then say, I don't like Karela. Because your girl gave it to you. <laughs> oh, Karela Kale. I was seeing this aid one day when rugby was going on. This guy goes about the sprint or something. Sprite, sprite. This guy is eating and the girl is sitting and the face is getting red. Anybody seen that one? I think I'm the only sinner here. <laughs> And, and, it's, and then he gave him give Sprite or something. What was it? Sprite? Sprite. See, people know why. We've been quiet now. Okay. So they give, they give him Sprite. So be truthful. Say, don't act. don't act. Be truthful. So when you go, so many people are acting before God. Father, I thank you. I love you. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus, thank you. That's all. Any other thing? I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Father, I commit this day into your hand. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping my wife. Thank you for helping my children. Lord, give us prosperity. Give a heal our bodies, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, thank you for this food. Bless it to my body. Bless this home. Bless this house. Bless the people who have made the food, Lord God. Bless the kitchen and bless the, the atta and bless the roti and everything, Lord God. I mean, amen. Praise the Lord. See, stop acting. Stop acting. Just go. Say, let's pray for the food. Father, thank you for the food. Woo! Amen. Let's eat. Can you say woo in prayer? Yes. Kate, kate, mule. No. I, I, a long time I haven't used my fingers for eating. I can't do that. But, but, but I'm telling you, be, be, why can't we be, be who we be? Just be who you are. Hey, you see people who are living in the house, then who is living in the house? Who is living in the house? You know, it's, it's just thinking. Huh? They say, somebody's coming and hey, make sure you act right. Oh, acting right when I come to your house. What about if I don't come to your house? Tab tu mukadas ni dega. 
Praise the Lord. You know, if somebody's coming to your house and you have to change your clothes, that means you, sh you, you should be wearing the same clothes all the time. How many did you get what I said? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just love life, you know. I have a beautiful family. I thank God I'm going to heaven and I'm going to be who me is. I don't want to be you. Praise God I'm not you. I see you. I want to be me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. <laughs> Amen. You know, there was this time one day I was thinking, I don't know why I think these things, but it be God in me making me think. I see some people, I talk to them, and I imagine... What if I, were, if I had that person's head in me? <laughs> I can't even leave. I'm so suffocated. I would die if I had those kind of brains in me. Thank God I'm not that. I'm me. I love me. <laughs> you know, it took a long time to be me. And you know why I'm me? Because I have Christ in me. The hope of glory. And I don't mind if you are offended. Get offended. I don't mind. I, there is not one part in my body will be minding. I'm true. I'm soon. You know what soon is? I'm drunk. I'm so drunk. I don't know what you're saying to me. Right or no? If people get offended very fast, they're not drunk in the spirit. If you, if you have God's word in you, you don't get offended. If you're staying with God, you are covered. Why are you offended what people say? Conchi bolis? Conchi? Hame bolis? Ka bolis? Ka bolis? Kaise bolis? Kon muse bolis? Apan muse bolis? You know, like, I, 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 I just see how people just get so, so fleshly minded. You know why? We are the born of the spirit. We are born of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay. I am part of a kingdom where righteousness is a way of living and doing and being. We do right because we are born in the kingdom of righteousness. Can you say amen? In Romans chapter 14 verse 17, it says the kingdom of God is righteousness. Amen. And then let me take you somewhere today. We, we did this, but I'm going to do this again. Let's go to 1 Peter 2.24. You got your Bibles? Let's open it up. Praise the Lord. And if you are confused, we will pray for you. We have no confusion. Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is no confusion. You know, I believe in it. The devil will be thinking and throwing thoughts at you that even straight people will be thinking wrong stuff. How many of you understand that? There is a sin out there that straight people are thinking wrong thoughts. And we better stop those thinkings in Jesus' name. All right, let's get going into the Word of God. First Peter 2 24. First Peter 2 24. Yeah. Pastor David, you got it? So let's just hear this in Hindi and then we'll break it down in English. Wah api hamare papo ko apne deh par liye hue. क्रूस पर चढ़ गया जिससे हम पापों के लिए मरकर धार्मिकता के लिए जीवन बिताएं पापों के लिए मरकर धार्मिकता के लिए जीवन बिताएं उसी के मार खाने से तुम चंगे हुए उसके मार खाने से तुम चंगे हुए अगर तुम मृत पाप के प्रति मर जाओगे और धार्मिकता से जीवन जियोगे तुम चंगाई पाओगे all right, let's read it in English. Two, three, every one of us. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, on the cross, that we, say I, I. put it there, put I there, being dead to sin. You got an S there? I got an S there. I am dead to sins, that is missing the mark. Should, oh, no, 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 go like this. Should leave. So, I being dead to sin. <laughs> I being dead to sins. Say, I, I am dead to sins. I am dead to sins. Should live. 
it, it's not an option. I should live. What? Unto righteousness. What is right before God? By whose stripes? I am healed. Now let me show you something. Let's go to Hezekiah. Uh, not Hezekiah. There's no book of Hezekiah. Let me tell you about the story of Hezekiel. Second Kings. Let's go. Okay, I'll just read this in English and we'll read this together. But I want Pastor David to go to Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 20. You don't go to Exodus 15, 26. Uh, you go to Second Kings. Bible may have Second Kings. Kekali New Testament like I have. Check along, Alice. Neaniam mene jage khojna wa Second Kings. You know, it's amazing. I, I see some people are looking. You know where they're looking? Here. <laughs> I don't have to see this side. No, this side. Old Testament, you know. I've seen that. You won't believe. What I, was, I said, go to Ephesians. The people are this side. I said, there's no Ephesians. He said, it's this side. And it's true. I've, anybody seen that? I've seen that, man. It's amazing. Agar kaine jake konkonden jana wase easy hai. Google map use karo. <laughs> okay, 2 Kings chapter 20. <laughs> Church is an amazing place, eh? Amen. It is an amazing place. You find all sorts of stuff. And all sorts of people. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> uh, okay, you there? Yes. Where are you? 20. What 20? 2 Kings chapter 20. Let's read in English 2-3. In those days was Hezekiel sick unto death. You know, this is amazing. If you had a boil, you would die. This guy had a boil. I don't know where he had a boil, but that was a very dangerous boil because he was about to die. And the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah the son of Amos, came to him. Read, read with me. And said unto him, Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Who say who? who? No, this is the God's prophet comes in your house and you are sick, and the prophet you I pray for healing ke, he's coming to say, oh, I hope do I use it? <laughs> you know, he just comes and says, You will die. Put your house in order, you will die. You're still dying, but before you die, put your house in order. Let me tell you, you know, some sicknesses are because your house and your eating habits are not in order. It's just true. Isn't that order? The word order there? Yeah. We love to order. Yeah. Two french fries. One burger. <laughs> and one roast chicken. Dipped in oil. With uh, fish fry. With oil just, just oily. Fry is killing the food. Anybody need that? Frying is killing the food. It's based on what oil you fry in it. Eh? <clears throat> okay, let's not go there. Let's not come here. Everybody likes fried chicken? Sir. Don't tell me the answer. I can see you are quiet now. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I didn't say don't eat that. I said some oils are not good. You know, there's this uh, wonderful friend of ours who's with us. And uh, so he went somewhere and he bought fish and chips. I mean, it, it's a, a lot of people eat from there because it's cheap and it's good too. But he was on the way, so he bought. He, he's, he ate after that. His eyes got red, his skin. He got allergy all over. But he didn't, doesn't have allergy. The oil literally poisoned his skin. Because those people are just selling things out, right? They're not thinking about your health. They're thinking about how fast they can serve you. Sure. There are some good places to buy good fish and chips. But some of you won't go there because it's not very cheap to buy. Sure. Health is costing you. But it's the food that is costing you. you. If you save money on food, good food, you will pay it in bills. Let me put this again. If you save money in buying quality food, you will, if, if, if you save money, you don't buy quality food, then you will pay in bills. Learn more from God's Word and send us your prayer request by visiting our website www.jclm.org 
or you can like our Facebook page, Jesus Christ is Lord Ministries, to keep up with the now word of the Lord for the season. Follow us on Instagram, JCLMPG. Better still, subscribe to our YouTube channel, JCLMPG, to receive the latest teaching of God from the ministry.